Speaking of other things going on, this just blindsided me, this uh, Reddit thing. Uh, our place is the uh, URL. And this is a thing that's been going on since 2017. First of all, I know, okay, you and I briefly talked about it before I put on the show because I was like, man, I got to read, but I don't, I don't know anything about this. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to disclaimer this right now that like stuff will be butchered here in this segment as far as the explanation of what's actually going on here. Plus, it's not even really a thing that you can properly describe since it's so chaotic and so user generated and so, um, so internet, this situation. Yeah, it is, yes. But anyway, I'm going to just briefly describe what's going on because it's been some of the hottest posts on the entire internet over the last like 72 hours. You're having uh, this like, massive community this massive number of inputs essentially what you what you have here is millions of reddit users who are collectively generating a massive collaborative piece of artwork and it has become a viral phenomenon now everybody's jumping into it you have uh, across all types of social media once again uh, pre- predominantly like twitch streamers and things like this and they're able to like get their community, to, uh, uh, rally their community around a particular agenda within this giant giant artwork. Now, click click on the uh, the banner. I suppose you would call it like the main image there. So that shows you the whole thing. If you log in at the bottom, that gives you the ability to place a tile. Will I said a tile? Okay. That's like a tiny little. Think of it as like a pixel. So in order to be able to make anything that you could discern as an as actual information, you need communities. You need uh, uh, coordination of groups because right. you, you only get to place one tile as one user. And this is massive. Oh my God! This thing is it's it's absolutely out of control. Like you have to zoom in to see the amount of detail. Like look at the single tile names that are over there in different sections. Like up there, you see. So, so yeah. You, you have to you have to co- coordinate with groups and say, hey, here's what we're going to do. And then you have to also defend because other users would come in and say, we're going to go smash this one region or we're going to have a uh, like uh, we're going to uh, deface the, this particular flag that's on right. there or whatever. Or we just want to occupy this real estate or whatever. And what you've had happen, by the way, th- so this started in 2017. And then but weirdly enough, it was started by. The same guy who made Wordle and sold to the New York Times. He used oh, to work okay. at Reddit. Shout out. Weird, interesting origin. And I think it started on April Fool's Day. But then it recently picked up steam this year around the same time, as you can as you can tell, all these incredibly hot posts. And then a bunch of influencers and streamers came on board and were able to promote it even further. And now you have all types of little wars going on. Now, some of the time lapses do a, an even better job of showcasing how this whole thing has been operating. There's a time lapse right there. You can see 24 hours and the change that has taken place over a 24-hour period as different groups enhance their individual artwork Whoa. or as different groups overtake different sections and overwrite other artworks of S- other individuals. You see... The um, Wall Street Bets crowd has GameStop in there. I think there's an AMC logo. Uh, obviously, you have flags from different parts of the world, which continue to get enhanced over time. You have ads for other subreddits. There's like a Star Wars poster in there. and But this is the key. The key is that you have to defend your territory, that your own individual group and uh, community can be overrun if you're targeted. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to have to get everybody back on board to pl- uh, place their individual tiles in order to right. maintain whatever it is that you have built up. Like the American flag was under attack for a long period of time over there, as you saw, like it came and went and so on and so forth. So it's like a coordinated effort by many individuals. Yeah, somebody in the chat there, shout out to Mal, says, most of these are done by bots. The only communities that can really pull off coordination like this are streamers, in my opinion. Well, that's it's totally a, co- a question of scale. You're going to have to have a really big community. But, you know, what's interesting, and this is a really cool article, if you're interested in this, then you should definitely go read it. It's on uh, Washington Post, and it's written by, sorry, I just want to get the author's name right because it really informed me, uh, Taylor Lorenz. And... Uh, it's it sort of is a showcase of how 
the internet and social media works, how that you kind of have to, in a way, agree with certain groups in order to get anything done or in order to make an impact. Like you kind of have to align yourself. Like these are all like mini little alliances. And otherwise, you'll just be a little speck in the corner. Like otherwise, you literally are a single tile in the absence of community and influence and like sort of latching on to movements and things. Now, this is obviously a very chaotic version of it. But imagine this is like discourse, Will, and mm. people on the Internet arguing over all the things that people argue over. But they can do it in the form of tiles here. Mm. So I'm just saying like as a representation for sort of uh, how chaotic and organized the Internet can be at times. Yeah, quite beautiful the way that I see it. Like it's always changing. It's always evolving. And it's based on pure Internet culture. I guess. And it's weird. You know what else is weird is how you, as you zoom in and out, the, it changes so much your perception of it, this artwork, mm. right? As you zoom in, you see all these micro details and, and uh, you're able to make sense of different sections. As you zoom out, you just see all types of human input, all types of seemingly random human input i know people really like the flags and things that end up in there and there's those are some of the only things you can discern from distance you can see that like german stripe and there's a couple mexican flags that people were really into but anyway it's all very interesting uh as mentioned there's far more detail in the article if you care to find out about what's going on or if you want to participate you can just go over to the actual uh uh, uh reddit link and you can actually place your own tile well Cool. It's all it's all the rage right now. All right? right. That's all I'm trying to say to you here. Is it an NFT though? Uh actually some of the early artwork that was proliferating on there was anti NFT stuff. Oh, okay. So um all right on. They're not super into the NFTs from what I can tell. Looking forward to it.